All right, g'day. Welcome to another IB Psychology video tutorial uh, with me, Travis Dixon. Today we're going to look at paper one um, and we're going to do a quick review here. So we're looking at what is in paper one exactly. And this is really important to know because you need to get the balance right with your study. If you know what's in the exam, you know how to prepare. You don't want to prepare too much, it's going to be too much work. You don't want to prepare too little because you might get the wrong questions. So let's have a look at what's in this paper one. It's based on the three approaches, biological, cognitive, social, cultural. You would have been studying these if you're watching this at the end of your course all throughout. Um, it's two hours and there are two sections. There's short answer questions in section A and essays in section B. When we say the core approaches, this is what we mean. The topics and the content that have come straight from the IB and these terms are going to be uh, form the basis of the questions. If you're doing this, the exams from May 2020 onwards, then you may also see these additional terms. Now, I'm gonna make some videos in the future uh, that will give you some tips on this and we'll make it a little bit less daunting. Um, so click subscribe, notifications or whatever, um, and then you'll, you'll see those when I post them. Um, cognitive approach, this is what we're looking at. And I've already made some other videos on schema theory, which you might want to check out, and uh, working memory and the working memory model. And I'll continue to make videos on all of this content in depth. But today we're just going to do a quick review. Uh, and again, here are the additional terms you might be asked about. Reminder, these will be short answer questions only, not in the essays. These terms right here. And this is from May 2020. And finally, the social cultural approach to understanding behavior. Um, and uh, we've got the additional terms over here as well. Okay, um, so just a quick note, we've got some more resources over here. Um, check it out, I'll put the link in the description. What you might be interested in uh, is our revision guide. Section A, short answer questions. So you're going to have three questions. Um, they'll be outlined, described, or explained. That will be the word, that will, the command term. And you have to answer all three. That's very important to know, right? It's really important to know that these are mandatory um, compulsory questions you must answer, and you're going to get one from each approach, all right? Um, and the topic and the content titles are what's in the question. So if you look here, right, how hormone may influence behavior, um, describing schema theory, that's a content point, but it's still in the question. The, um, the topic is cognitive processes, and the content point is schema theory. So, you know, you have to know all of your topic and content points. Okay. Um, so let's just have a look at section A, right? So how one hormone influences behavior. You'd explain how, how a hormone, you might say, for example, talk about cortisol and memory, and you might, uh, and you will need to have a study as well. So Buchanan and Lavello is a good one that I recommend. Describe schema theory, so you're going to summarize the theory, and then you also have a study that supports that theory or some aspect of the theory. Explain how one cultural dimension influences behavior. Again, what is a cultural dimension? So define that term. Explain how it affects behavior. Um, specifically, uh, specific behavior like conformity or maybe personal relationships and have some studies to support it. Um, so in short answer responses, and I'll put a link here to another video I've made about how to answer any short answer response, but remember, for every topic and content point, you'll need a central argument and a study. Section B, in the essay. So you're going to have three essay questions. They will be a evaluate, discuss, to what extent, or contrast. I will make other videos about these pesky command terms and when and when we have to pay attention to them and when we can ignore them. Um, and there'll be one question from each approach. Now here's the really key part. You only answer one. That's really big when it comes to pre preparing for the exam and knowing what to revise. Again, just like short answer questions, the topic and the content titles are in the question. So let's have a look at some of these questions. So again, remember, answer one. So we've got a biological question, a cognitive, and a social cultural question. So discuss use of one or more techniques used to study the brain. So with an essay, you have to go beyond what you've done in a short answer response. Your essay is going to be about 900 to 1,000 words. A short answer response about 300, maybe 400. So you're looking at almost double or triple the length in the essay, which means you need more studies and you want to um, have some sort of evaluation or counter arguments in your essay. So discuss use of one or more techniques. So you might talk about fMRI, how and why it's used, a couple of studies, but then talk about the limitations. To what extent does emotion affect one cognitive process? In a short answer response, you would have just explained how emotion affect the cognitive process and showed a study. To what extent you'd have to do that same thing, how does emotion affect the cognitive process? One or two studies to show that, but then the to what extent is, well, does it really? And that's when you introduce your counter arguments. Um, evaluate social cognitive theory. So in the short answer response, describe schema theory. Here we have evaluate a theory. So you explain the theory, studies, but then you introduce things like limitations. Okay, and then that's where you put in your counter arguments. Again, I've got a, another video here where I've got essay writing tips that will have more detail for you there. Um, so my top tip, review all the core content to SAQ level. So all of these topics and content points, you have to know these. You have to un be able to explain a key concept 
with um, each of these topics. Now, sometimes the IBM has made it really clear what the key thing is you have to explain, and other times it's not so clear. So um, in, in all the resources I've made, especially the revision book, I've tried to make it really clear what's the key thing you should explain for each of those topic and content points. But you have to prepare for all of them because remember, they are mandatory questions, right? Um, so you, you might have a question on acculturation that you have to answer, so you have to be prepared for it. A central argument and a study for each. Now, also choose one approach to prepare for the essays. Um, you might do a three, two, one approach where you have one that's your, your go-to and then you have a, a second as a backup and you ignore the third. Um, I wouldn't advise doing this throughout the course. You know, don't, don't worry about it. Just enjoy studying psychology. If you're a teacher, just teach psychology. But when it comes to the exam prep, exam specific focus, then you want to you wanna narrow your focus. Are you a biological psychologist? Are you more of a cognitive psychologist or a social cultural psychologist? And then play to your strengths and play to your interests. Um, so again, if you try and revise all of this and be prepared for any essay, it's too much and it's unnecessary. Okay, so you might choose, for example, I'm a cognitive psychologist, I find this really interesting and I think I can write good essays on these topics. Well then you prepare for that essay question because you're guaranteed that something from here will be in the exam and then you can ignore these other two. Okay, um, I've made another video that outlines these five types of questions and I've um, in there I've given heaps of uh, example questions for you to look at. Um, and also how to answer any uh, short answer question and essay writing tip. Um, any requests for, for videos, for tutorials, please put them in the comments. It's really helpful so I know I'm um, being useful. Now, standard level students, if you watched, thank you. Um, don't forget to click subscribe. And uh, high level, we're getting into the high level difference now. How is your paper one different or how is it similar? So it's still two hours, you've still got two sections and there are still the three core approaches. Okay, where your paper one differs is in the essay section. And there you have your um, extension topics are added to the essay questions. Okay, not the short answer questions. So just a reminder, your extension is the animal research and biotechnology's effect on cognition and cognitive approach, and globalization's effect on behavior in the social cultural approach. Okay, um, now this is the key point. One, two, or three essay questions will be based on the high level extensions. Okay, but it's the same, the, the, the advice is still the same. Choose one approach, choose one extension when it comes to revising for your exams. So let's have a look here. This is an example of what it could look like where you've got one question is based on the extension, how technology affects cognitive processes. The biological question here is just a regular biological question that could have been asked to a standard level student as with the social cultural. Now let's say you have studied the biological approach uh, and you've studied the biological extension animal research, well then you're fine. You're sorted, you're, you're golden, you just keep answering as you would. You don't have to worry about studying digital technology. You're prepared, okay? If the second question comes up, again, same thing, you're, you're, you're still prepared. These two questions here about the extensions, but it doesn't affect you if you're doing biological, okay? Same thing, let's say you did the, the cognitive approach as your essay approach, okay? You studied all the cognitive topics and you studied the extension. This one comes up, boom, you're sorted, you're prepared, right? You're prepared no matter what question. Um, and then this is what it could look like if all three questions are based on the extensions. Here we've got a question about animal studies, technology, and globalization. So that's when I, what I mean when I say one, two, or three will be based on the extensions, but the advice remains the same. Choose one approach for the essays. So all content and topics to short answer question levels, okay, but, that, uh, but not, don't do the extensions for SAQs, okay, just regular content and topics. One approach to the essays and add one extension to that same approach for the essay um, questions. Now, I really hope um, that's clear. Three core approaches, this is just a final summary here. You've got the biological, cognitive, social, cultural. Your options come in paper two, and we'll do another video about that later on. You've got two hours. Um, just a note on the marking, so it's worth 49 marks, we'll see. You've got 20, nine times three is 27. 27 marks for paper uh, for section A, the short answer question, and 22 for the essay. 27 verse 22. So slightly more for the short answer response, which I think the short answer responses, section A is the key to doing well on paper one. You want to do well on both, but understanding and being well prepared to write excellent short answer responses, I think, is a really important step in doing very well in paper one. Okay, um, two sections, section A and B. Okay. Now, I hope that was helpful, right? This, sorry, this is just a, the final review there. Any questions that I didn't clear, clarify, um, put them in our Facebook group and I'll answer there or put it in the comments. 
Um, if it was helpful, go to our blog. Um, you can subscribe there. The, all these updates, I try and do one a week. Um, key studies and other information will go straight to your email if you're a subscriber. Um, and all the stuff's in the links as well. Thank you very much for watching. Um, well done for watching. This means that you're motivated and you're keen to do well in your exams, um, which makes me happy. I'm sure it'll definitely make your teacher happy. And again, I hope that was helpful. Good luck.